hello welcome or welcome back to our channel thank you for clicking on this video um this video is going to be like a get ready with us for holiday type vlog because it's currently friday afternoon and we go on holiday well in the very very early hours of sunday uh, monday morning we're leaving for the airport so we've taken this afternoon off work so we're officially off now until when we get back in a couple of weeks and we are going last minute shopping Hello. we're going last minute shopping at Meadow Hall yeah. it's your favourite isn't it shopping yeah. at Meadow Hall yeah. <laughs> we were going to go at the weekend but then I don't think Sam would have actually faced Meadow Hall on a Saturday it would have been <laughs> much anger <laughs> so yeah we booked this afternoon off work so it's a bit quieter um and yeah we're gonna go shopping i look so much paler <laughs> than i have done the last couple of weeks because i normally fake tan at this time of year coming up to summer and especially on holiday but i'm having a spray tan on sunday morning so there's no point me fake tanning to then have a spray tan so you're just gonna have to accept the pasty natural face <laughs> for now but yeah oh um if you haven't ted <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you think you might like our vlogs or videos have a look around our channel see if you like us please do subscribe um we really appreciate it we're nearly at 100 subscribers and it's only small numbers but it'd be really impressive that was like the goal when i first started is we really, really would like 100 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed please do if you feel like you'd like our videos and i will see you when i next see you bye so we're home it's a lot later what time is it quarter past six <sighs> meadow hall was intense it was not as quiet as i expected it to be on a on a sunday on a friday afternoon it was quite busy it was quite stressful me and sam both hate busy shops so that was fun but now i do think we've got everything that we need for holiday i got some more bikinis i did a i don't know if you've seen but i did a try on haul where i ordered bikinis on the internet and it didn't go then it, it wasn't it was a no-go no-go zone so i've replaced those bikinis i've tried them on they fit thank god so i've got bikinis i can actually go in the pool i've got some other clothes some dresses i think I might film like a what I'm gonna wear on holiday video so that might go out this week if I can be bothered um or if I have time more likely so yeah I'm just gonna try on some bits that I didn't get a chance to try on in Meadow Hall and then I'm gonna put my comfies on I'm gonna put my joggers on I'm gonna put a hoodie on I'm gonna get cozy I'm gonna have an alcoholic beverage because it's Friday and we're officially on holiday now we finish work so holiday starts here and we're gonna chill out for a little bit before the madness of packing and what have you starts tomorrow so that's all i've got to say i'll show you like a sneak peek of what i got from the shop but yeah as i say i might do a video trying these on or like putting holiday outfits together yeah that's fine. Yeah. We had like a impromptu visit from my mum. She was <laughs> she was actually in our house when we got home because she's got a key. <laughs> so she let herself in and uh, we had a little catch up because she popped in on her way home from work. Um, so yeah, she's the one that's doing my spray tan on Sunday. So we coordinated that. And yeah, I will talk to you later when I have a glass of drink to relax <laughs> See you in a bit. that's better all cozy hair is up so it's definitely the end of the day sam's upstairs fanning about watching uh, fanning about so i'm gonna start cooking tea it's been a lot of my face today <laughs> sorry <laughs> so we're having you see uh chorizo or zotto rice no. and no sounds nice we like chorizo so 
Let's make that. Fancier on the tableware. Mm. Gone a bit more rustic. <laughs> yeah, down there. Uh. <sighs> this is what I have to live with. Keep it in, keep it out. It's up to you. <sighs> keep it in so I can show the world how disgusting you are. That was a champion burp, thank you. Mm. It was quite good. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I'd just show how. Ow! I didn't. You're ruining it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, she does have to live with this on a daily basis. Good touch, whatever. It's good. For fuck's sake. Right, I thought I would show. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till you've gone. I'm just bypassing you. You look to me for it. Distracting. Right. <laughs> right. I was gonna show you how I've set up, ready to pack for holiday because I'm a panicker, worrier. <sighs> Need everything to be organised so I don't have a meltdown. So, I've set everything up into piles. I thought I didn't have enough clothes, but I think I've bought too much now. <laughs> but at least I've got options. And we can only take one, like, hang one hand luggage case. So on EasyJet, you have, like, a rucksack, basically, for free, that you can put under the seat in front of you. But then if you want, like, a normal cabin bag, you have to pay for that. So we've paid for one each. So I've got a little rucksack and then cabin bag. So I've not got that much room for stuff. And I feel like this is just clothes. This isn't makeup. This isn't hair. This isn't shoes. This isn't bags. This isn't accessories. This is just clothes. So good luck to me. So I've got evening, more like formal outfits, like dresses, trousers, etc this is like daytime outfits so like denim shorts little like sundresses that's my travel outfit bikinis and yeah that's just the clothes so packing's gonna be fun these are sam's swim shorts he got from tk maxx i think they're so cute got little mushrooms on how sweet are they? It's like something I'd buy. But yeah, so I've got that all organised and then I don't know where I'm going to... I can't keep it on the bed. I'm going to have to put it somewhere. And then either tomorrow or Sunday I'll put that in the suitcase. I'll probably have to go through it again and just double check. I do want to take everything. But yeah. Sam won't do anything like this. He'll just shove clothes in a bag. Probably. But yeah, so, oh, I'll catch up. We've had tea. We've both had a drink, you might be able to tell. Only one drink, but oh, it's been a long day. It's been a long week. And Sam is now practicing bass because he's got a gig tomorrow night at the Lead Mill again. Very exciting. Playing with Reverend and the Makers for their album launch gig. Reverend of the Makers of a Sheffield Doncaster band that made it big back a, you know, a few years ago and they're doing a comeback. So Sam and his band are supporting them, which is quite exciting. 
So we'll both be going to that tomorrow night. So Sam is practicing for that. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I want to play the game that we've been playing, but I can't play it without Sam. So I might end up just getting in bed <laughs> and watching a film on the iPad or something. That's what I like to do usually. So yeah. Go to sleep, then pop it. We switched to the phone because I forgot to vlog while we're in the house. Is Sorry, it? the quality's crap. Well, yeah. <laughs> but we are in town because Sam wants to get his hair cut. Yes. Do a quick before. <laughs> and I just thought I'd pop, her up, pop along for the jolly. That's so. It. She's not coming in to get her hair cut with me, don't worry. No, I, I did that last, last week. Though. Yeah, it's fine. But okay, I'm going to go now. Bye. So, it's in the end. He knows. Yeah. Are we home? Look at that tail. Look at that tail. I know, that's still outside. It's just me. Oh, we ho. You've been a good boy. <laughs> You've been a good boy. So, we just got home. We did bits of shopping. Sam got his hair cut. What else? We went for some coffee and a cake, which was nice. And now gonna have some lunch because we're both absolutely starving and it was one of those oh flying it was one of those things where it was like we could have got something in town but we've got food at home and because we're going away we need to eat everything <laughs> so it doesn't go off so we're gonna eat some food unpack will i show you what we got yeah i'll show you what we got while food's cooking bear with me i'm resting you on a vase of flowers i feel like that's brave but it's the only thing that's high enough so i feel like i've spent my entire bank account on on stuff for holiday but it's just all those bits you need that you just forget so like i got a new purse i got a belt because mine's gone all frayed and i want to take it on holiday i got like a nude bra nude underwear because when you're on holiday you wear light clothes i've got some bikini bottoms because i had to swap the size what else oh my amazon order came i got like gel nail varnish nail polish and a uv lamp so i can do my own gel nails which is exciting i might try and film doing that because i paint my nails every week but by you know day four or five Hello. they've chipped and gone all gross and i don't want to have to be painting my nails on holiday so i'm hoping if i gel nail them they'll stay nice for the whole week we went to tesco as well because sam wanted a shirt and we couldn't find any in town and the only other place to go was tesco so we went to tesco we stocked up on <laughs> lettuce for the rabbits my mum was going to be popping in every day to check on the rabbits and feed them, so don't need to worry about them. So I've stocked up on lettuce for them. 
And then we also got some sausages for breakfast. Nice. And <laughs> because we've got to set off at like 2am on Monday morning, Sunday night, Monday morning, we've got to go to bed at like 7, 8 <laughs> to get enough sleep. So we were like, how can we go to bed and make ourselves sleepy? Red wine. <laughs> And both of us, when we drink red wine, we get really sleepy. So we we're like, we'll have dinner, have a glass of wine, chill out, relax, go to bed early. And then I also got some little cocktails. I love these from Tesco. What kind of cocktails? Just have a little drink tonight, maybe. Get me ready for holiday. And might have a little cheeky pre-drink before the gig because I think Sam will be driving, so that's what we got. Oh, also, while I was waiting for Sam's haircut to be done, I uh, had a mooch around the charity shops, which is one of my favourite things to do. I got a whodunit crime book, which is my favourite type of book to read on holiday, because it just sucks me in. And I, they're like one of the only books I actually read. And then when I was in the charity shop, I wasn't looking for clothes because I don't really need to buy any more, but I found two dungaree sets. So this one's cream and this one's more like a wide leg. I don't know if you can see it very well. Wide leg dungaree. That was £4, 3 99 What a bargain. And then I also got... some black cord dungarees as well also four pound so I wasn't expecting to find those but I'm glad I did it's to rain <gasps> the washing let's get the washing in you see some hair Chee! <laughs> fresh so fresh and so clean all right we'll get the washing in <laughs> Sam bought a shirt very nice very holiday-esque <laughs> right we'll get the washing in before it gets drenched so sam and ted have gone out for a little walk just before we go out tonight so he's walked an exercise before we leave him and i am gonna do my nails so i got um let me show you so this is just like a little it's only from amazon so it might be rubbish but little gel varnishes and i think i'm gonna go with this go for this light pink there we go light pink and i've just plugged in the little uv lamp down there and i'm gonna watch something on youtube and see if it does any good if it does if it goes nice on my nails i will try it on my toenails but i'm not going to show that on the internet for obvious reasons i've just removed my nail varnish filed them into a nice shape ignore my nails are so stained from all the different colors i have on them but yeah i'll see how that goes i've done my nails yes they are messy my hand was shaking like a crazy person because i've had two coffees today <laughs> I think they're good. Not bad for 20 quid off Amazon. Hopefully they'll last me a week. Cute. So Sam's back from his walk. Ted is shattered, <laughs> rightfully. Um, and Sam's just got in the shower to get ready for the gig tonight. And I'm gonna spruce myself up. <laughs> Cause at the moment I'm in joggies because I didn't want to keep my jeans on. So I'm going to get, and I put the hair up because it was in my face. So I'm going to spruce myself up a little bit, redo my makeup and get ready to go to Sam's gig. It's very glamorous. Oh, I missed it. Oh. I'm with the band. I am with the band. <laughs> Sam's 
so we're back on the phone sorry for the quality of his pants again um so as you will have seen sam's just finished sound checking it's all fine and now this is the bit where you just have to hang around so it's i don't know what time it's like half six something like that and they're not playing until eight <laughs> so you have a lot of hanging around when you're in a band so he's gone up to practice some songs um because they're not using the usual full band so the drummer and the usual guitarist aren't there they're both unavailable <laughs> they're on holiday or doing something else so um he's got in one of his friends to play guitar musical friends and uh, someone to play like a percussion on a box i don't know what it's called it's like a box that you tap with your hands you sit on it sam might know but i don't know anyway so they're new so they've only practiced together once so they're just having a quick practice at the venue in the green room now but i'm not allowed in the green room because i don't have an all access pass so i'm sat in the car i've been demoted to the car and i was going to go to a coffee shop or to a pub or something but it's absolutely chucking it down Can I? I don't know how to swap the how do i how do i I don't know how to sort the camera around, but it's absolutely pissing it down. So I won't be walking anywhere in that. But yeah, after Sam finishes his practice, we're going to go and get some food. Oh, it's uh, not as uh, flashy. As I expected. We were the team of <laughs> Good morning. It is a lovely sunny Sunday. 
Day the yes, final day before the holiday. Um, we're just having some sausages for breakfast. If you can hear some sizzle, sizzle. Uh, last night was good, wasn't it, babes? It was indeed. Who did you meet? Richard Hawley. Off of Pulp. No, no. Oh my no? God. No. That's Jarvis Cocker. Richard Hawley. was in Pulp. Richard Hawley's his own artist. He was in Pulp. I'm pretty sure he wasn't in Pulp. He was in Pulp. Alexa. Alexa. Was Richard Hawley in Pulp? Well, there you go then. Do you know more than me? Thank you, musical knowledge. You're the one that met him. Yeah, you only asked me where my shirt was from. <laughs> Tesco. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was an exciting night. We're tired, got back quite late. And then we had Ted upstairs in bed with us because he's going to my mum's tonight. And he decided to wake us up at 6 a.m. Pacing around the room. Pacing around the room, licking his balls. That's his favorite thing to do. Uh, scratching his ears, jumping on the bed, jumping off the bed. So, sleep from about six o'clock this morning was disrupted. I'm still a bit tired. But I am pasty, pale, au natural. I'm gonna get my spray tan, my spray tan done. Um, my mum has a spray tan machine, so I'm just going to my mum's house. And I'm also going to pick up some suitcases. Is any consolation, guys? I'm not having a spray tan. No, so I offered him one. You could have had one if you wanted. If I had a spray tan, I'd have to be called Gina. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I told my mum I'd be there at 10, but it's already 9.47 and I've not had breakfast yet, so... <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Hey, Tudward. You're going on holiday. Yeah, to Nanny's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you later. Bye. So I thought I'd just catch you up on what's happening. I am tanned. It's quite a light, natural tan. It's not too dark. I think my self tan is darker, but it's quite a nice shade. It's a bit green tinged. <laughs> But yeah, I'm letting that develop for as long as possible and then I'll wash it off. Um, I have packed my bag. Sam's half packed his bag. I will show you what that's looking like. So everything's pretty neat and organised. I've got all my clothes, I've got makeup that's not liquids and like hair clips and grips and jewellery and stuff in there. I've got a couple of books um, because I tend to read a lot on holiday. Um, and I'm taking one in my rucksack as well on the plane. Um, I'll not show you that side too much because it's like underwear and socks. Sam, that's all his clothes, I think, apart from one pair of shorts. <laughs> so I might be able to squeeze some stuff in his suitcase. Um, yeah, because I want to take another pair of heels, but obviously I haven't got room in my case. So we'll see if we can squeeze stuff in there. And then I've also packed my liquid like makeup, liquids, moisturiser, perfume, etc. And a little emergency kit with any medicines, rennies, plasters, Imodium, you know, everything you need when you go on holiday. And I've got my hair straighteners there because I want to put them in an accessible pocket in the uh, suitcase because you have to get those out to put them through the scanners. So I don't want them to be like hidden amongst all my clothes and stuff at the airport. Hairbrush, I need that for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear any makeup or anything at the airport or on the plane because it's gonna be the crack of dawn. Getting up at 1am, there's no point. So I've just packed it all away. I think I'll just moisturize probably and that'll be it. Um, But yeah, I think now I'm gonna just go around and sort of tidy the house a little bit, do a bit of cleaning because no one likes to come home to a messy house and our bed in is there ready to be changed and you know all the stuff you need to do and I'm feeling a bit anxious about traveling and packing I'm not very good traveling so I think having a tidy house will clear my mind slightly so I'll do that and I'll take you with me 
Sam has gone on his mountain bike, by the way, um, to tire himself out because he needs to go to bed quite early to get enough sleep to feel well rested to drive to the airport because um, we're driving and parking. So he's gone on his mountain bike to hopefully use up a bit of energy, tire him out so he can go to bed nice and early. I don't think I'll sleep. I don't sleep very well at night anyway and I think having to be asleep by like by eight o'clock is just not going to work for me <laughs> so we'll see um but yeah I'm just gonna go around blitz the house tidy the house feel a bit better about it and then that's it relax have a little drink with dinner <laughs> have a little red wine <laughs> relax calm down a little bit and yeah I'll see you in a bit some time has passed I've done the upstairs well I've ripped around the house polished done upstairs cleaned the bathroom as best I can I've re tinted my eyebrows which is why they look crazy dark I've had a shower washed the top layer of tan off washed my hair so the last thing that needs doing is to clean the rabbits out if you knew and you don't know we have two pet rabbits they live under our stairs I will show you so yeah, we have two pet rabbits, Luna and Thor, and they live in the cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to clean them out so they're as fresh as possible. Um, I think I said before, but my mum is coming to check on them every day and feed them. It's just easier than moving them around. Rabbits don't really like environment change. It can stress them out. So it's just easier to have someone come here and check on them here where they usually live um yeah so i'm gonna clean them out i'll give you some weekly rabbit content because it's easier to let them run around the house while i clean them out so i'll let you have some weekly rabbit content while i clean those out and sam is on his way home so yeah i'll get to the rabbits <laughs> rabbits out and I'm just putting everything out for ready for when my mum comes to check on them and I've written a little like cheat sheet of what they need every day what to check for etc because um I suppose if you don't have rabbits you don't know but oh the lens is a bit better here so if you don't have rabbits you might not know but mm, what the biggest killer of rabbits is they go into something called stasis which is where they their stomach uh fills with gas and they stop eating and basically for rabbits to survive they need something in their 
digestive system all the time. So our rabbits have um, like pellet food and in the morning for breakfast and then in the evening for tea they have like leafy greens, kale, lettuce, etc. Um, but then all day they have to have an endless unlimited supply of hay and the hay is what keeps going through their body because um, it's full of fibre etc. So if you're asking someone to look after your rabbits um, who maybe doesn't know about rabbits um, it's important that they check that they're really happy to eat. So the biggest um, symptom of going into stasis is that they don't want to eat because their tummy feels horrible. So my mum has looked after um, Luna before actually at her house. So she knows generally what to look out for but it has been a while since she's looked after the rabbits properly so um, I've written her a little sheet about where everything is. Um, I'll show you. So I've set it all up for her. Um, that's uh, fibre sticks which are basically just hay and extra fibre which they don't have to have, it's like an addition to their diet, but if I'm going away and I can't check on them like I usually do, I'd like them to have extra fibre in their diet just to sort of doubly prevent them going into stasis. This is their food and how much they should have between them, um, that little cup measure. And then I've put out loads of hay, extra food in case that jar runs out and a little sheet about what they need. So pellets every day, greens every day, fibre stick every day, although they don't have to have it, um, where the hay is, where the treats are. So a good way to check if they're just being picky about food or um, they've go, gone into stasis and they're not feeling well is to give them a treat. So know what treats your rabbits go crazy for. So we have the little science selective um, loops, whatever, and they absolutely love those. So if they don't want one of those treats, you know something's wrong. So I've said to my mum here, if they don't go for their food straight away, which they pretty much always do, they dive right in. But if they don't go for the food straight away, try them with a treat and see if they eat the treat. If they eat the treat, then they're fine. They're just being picky or whatever. Um, but if they don't eat the treat, then it's something to worry about and she should probably ring me or take them to the vets. Um, she knows which vets they're at. Ted's at the same vets. She knows she's a pet owner herself, so I think I'm just panicking because I've not left the rabbits for this long before. I've left them for like a weekend when we went away before, but this is the first time we're going like abroad and leaving them for a week, so I'm a bit nervous. But my mum knows what she's doing. She's got pets, she knows. And worst case scenario, just take them to the vet. So yeah, that is everything set up for the rabbits. I'm still waiting for Sam to come home. He said he was on his way like 45 minutes ago because I want dinner <laughs> and I'm going to cook dinner while Sam's in the shower after his ride so um, yeah. I'll probably actually clean the living room and maybe mop and then that's the final thing I need to do then I can just relax. So I'll do that. Bye! to show you what we're having for tea um we have gusto you know we have gusto by now this is tonight's sloppy joe loaded fries and it was really easy to cook this one actually i cooked it while oh there's lighting i cooked it while sam was in the shower so it didn't take that long and i'll show you what it looks like in like a you know real versus what, you, what, what am I trying to say? I'll show you what it looks like in like a what to expect versus what you've actually got type deal. This is the picture and this is what we've got. <laughs> the presentation never quite comes out the same, I would say. But hopefully it all tastes nice. He's back. Hello. He does exist, it's not just me. I, I believe it or not, I do exist on occasion. Um, I think I'm going to sign off the vlog here so I can get it edited and uploaded before Not we... Netflix. No. <laughs> get it edited and uploaded before we go away so then it's... You're not missing a video. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for Tunisia Vlogs. Yes. We are taking the camera, so... Your... 
yeah, I'm going to do some sort of clothing. Yeah. I'll do something, some clothing, something or other. Um, so, yeah, we'll say bye. We'll see you again in the sun. Yes. See you tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> and, or in um, the morning, depending on what time you want to vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave it a like, comment, subscribe. subscribe the usual trifecta. And we will see you next week with a Tunisia vlog.